pole dancing. So this is a scaffolding tool that I would use in my Cree classroom and something that I do use with my daughter Scarlett. She's learned how to introduce herself in Cree. And as they master this, they can, you can keep adding more and more and more. You can add grandparents, you can add uncles, you can add aunties, you can add siblings. So, but this is just the beginning. And if you're really just starting out, I would just do these first two. When they know how to do that one, you can add this one. And then when they learn how to do that one, you can add this one and so on. So from each stage, you are building on what they have already mastered. And it comes becomes easier and easier and easier the more they practice. So I'll begin. This one's already filled out. Scarlet, Scarlet was really eager to do her introductory video, which you'll see in the next one. So, danse, danse. Scarlet, netsi gasun. Scarlet, netsi gasun. This is where your name will go. I nang you nidato de bonan. I nang you nidato de bonan. This is where the age will go. Scarlet is eight years old, and so that's what we've put on there. And nidato de bonan also means. Um, how many winters you've survived, that's an old Cree way of saying it, is what Mr. Solomon had just told me, which is pretty cool, I think. Um, Kista Bananik, Oche Nia. So Kista Bananik is Prince Albert, is where I'm from. You could you would put your community here in Cree, which you can research, or you can just use in English, whichever is easier for you, whatever challenge you want to give yourself or your child. Gestape nanik oche niya. Oche niya. Andrea negawi. Andrea negawi. You put your mom's name. Egua. Egua means Anne. Egua. Bruce. You would put your dad's name here. Nu Dawi. Nu Dawi. Ego se. Bitama. Mui stas. Ego se. Bedama muy stas. That means that's all for now. I'll see you later. And this chart will go in Scarlet's room. So like um like I said, you can copy this and I can take a picture of it and you would copy the words that are black. Or I'm going to be printing not printing, uploading a file with the introduction and you can print it out and fill it out. I usually like to print it out, fill it out, and give it to my students, or in this case, my daughter. And she can take it with her, and she can practice it as much as she wants to until she doesn't need the paper anymore, which is the goal, right? And then after she's done that, you can begin to start using it in conversations. So the next video, you'll see Scarlett demonstrating her introduction.